It's the mat work. We're working on something right now called the 502 method, um, which is basically like commenting on uh, certain like niche engagers. So what we're, what we're doing is we'll go on like a similar artist page and mm -hmm. then we'll find the people that are commenting like the intellectual type messages, like kind of long comments that are actually like valuable. And then yeah. we'll click on their profile and then go and comment like a kind of long comment on one of their pictures and like that picture. And mm -hmm. then hopefully they follow back. If they follow them, we follow back. Oh, what do you, what do you think about that method? I mean, I think it's all cool until you get to the, if they follow, follow back. That one part is not, I'm not big on. I mean, I like the fact that they followed y'all first and then y'all follow. But yeah, I'm just, anything that ends in follow for follow is just not my vibe. Long, long term is not the value that you're looking for. Okay, because yeah. yeah. If, you start off, if you start off a conversation, that means... And then once you do the follow for follow, now it's because it's a different type of relationship. It's a, all right, are we, if we continue communicating or if we continue this e equal chain and exchange, then, then the relationship continues. But if they become aware of you and they like you based on what you have, like what's on your page and who you represent yourself as, then they're being more positioned as a friend. I'm not a friend, a fan versus a friend. And you're not trying to make more friends. You want your fans to feel like you're a friend, but you don't want them to be friend first because converting them into a fan, starting from a, fr a friend is is just muddy waters and it's harder to do. And the support level is the same. What about maybe not a friend, but just like someone that admires like one of their pictures? Because because I agree with you. And what I've noticed is like when I don't follow them, when I just put a meaningful comment and I like the picture, I'll get the follow. But when I'll, when I'll comment on somebody in a meaningful way and then like the picture and then follow them, I don't get as many follow backs. So I agree with what you're saying. And I think, I think that's, that's part of it. Yeah, man. I, I say like, don't follow at all, man. Um, and, and let them come in that way and just, and just like you. Okay. And then they decide to unfollow and they unfollow people unfollow me every day, whether it's on YouTube or on, on Instagram, everybody is getting unfollowed every day. Like all, even the bigger artists, you might not see the big, a big gap and not might, might not be a huge uh, amount. But if someone has a million followers a day, they are getting probably, I, I, I can't give you an exact number, but a, a, a lot of times it's, it's a thousand dollars. I mean, a thousand people that are unfollowing a day, but then they have other people that are refollowing them. So it doesn't change that. It doesn't look like it's changing, but it's changing, you know? So that's just a part of the game. Like that's just a part of the game. And people unfollow for a lot of reasons. I'm just trying to clean my life up and get rid. You know, like or I or I don't like this person. Like it's, it's so many reasons. You can't really get it's caught not up. Not even that personal. Shit. Yeah. You can't get caught up in that shit at all. That's why I barely even look at my like who's following me and whatever. Just because I don't want to get caught up in that mentality. I'm trying to find the balance of like actually connecting with people and doing what you said of like letting them know like. I'm put, I, this is my music. This is for my music. I'm pushing my art, but also try to like create that personal connection to keep people coming back and keep people interested in the, and, and feel like you said, like they're almost like my friend, but also that it's clear that my product is my music. You know, that I'm here for my music. Yep. I think you need to focus more on your actual brand and communicating that part and then Do your music it. first. And then once you do that, then you can start thinking about converting them into more of the fan thing. But you need to track people more so off brand and music first alone. 